Hey guys and welcome back to another video from Princetech. This is Isa and in this video I will show you how I set up a section of my digital notebook so you can keep your notes super organized. I do have another video showing everything that's included in this notebook. I'm gonna link it below, but I'm gonna show you how a blank copy right here. So basically you have your different covers, you have sections, you have different types of paper that you can use in your different sections, etc. But right now I want to show you what I actually do when I'm ready to use a different section. The notebook comes with 12 different sections and I want to mention that at first I was gonna use each section as a month, so that's why I did this index here. But then I realized that, for example, one of my sections you'll see in a bit is uh, about planting, like I mean gardening, so I'm planting some plants and keeping track of them. So if I wrote that in August, that means that I would have had to copy the information onto September, October and all of the months to follow. So I decided not to follow that system and then I did this other system. I labeled this like main stuff, so things that are going on with my life, this is the one that I always look at. Then I have a section for stickers because sometimes I just want quick access to my favorite stickers. Just notes when I need something quick like ideas and stuff to write down. Then this is the section that I use for that. And then I have my project section, okay? And then all of these other sections, I haven't labeled them yet. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use them for, but this system has really worked for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. This notebook is really cool because it's so easy to navigate. So if you click on your spiral here on the left, you're gonna go back to your main index. From from here you can open a section and each section has five sub sections so in this case this is my stuff so my things that are going on you know continuously and so the first one is entries and this means it's kind of like my planning section where I keep you know kind of my Bujo style planning with notes and different things these I use for the weeks or days that I you know need to keep track of information I still have my planners but this is where I make it pretty, I just enjoy doing it. And that also means that I don't always use this, so I don't have it for every single day, you know, for every single week. Rather, when I feel like making a spread, I do it. Some days I just write down info for one day, for a whole week maybe, it can be a single page, things like that. Then I have my gardening section, which is pretty horrible. I haven't worked on this a lot. <laughs> I actually have notes in a different notebook, I need to like update it. Um, then I have info about my uh, kids' school, dates, payments, important information. Then I have my finances section where I keep you know, track of payments, things I owe and try to keep my finances a little bit organized. Then I have work which is where I keep track of all of my projects and different mm, products that I'm releasing at the shop, things like that. Okay, so this is how I used a section. I've set up a few of them, so the stickers. Um, notes, this is another cool one, so this is a section where I'm like, okay, I want ideas or things that I'm working on, let's say, today. For example, this Halloween one was because I was organizing that day and I just needed a place to keep track of uh, what I was going to do and stuff. It was quite simple, you know, I didn't even do that much, but I just wanted a page for this and this was the perfect place for it. Then I haven't used these two subsections and I just have little stars uh, keeping my text box ready to use for when I'm ready. This is more sections and today we'll set up an entire new section so you see how I do it. It's quite simple. Basically, I only use text boxes. You can, of course, use your ink. You can, let me show you real quick, use your ink to, to write a title. For example, this would be workout so it can be as simple as just writing the title however i'm never satisfied with my handwriting so what i do is i use text boxes okay so that's what i'm going to show you how i do today because i just i don't know i got used to this i type pretty fast and it just looks better in my opinion but if you have beautiful handwriting please by all means use it um, but this is just what i do so i create a text box i adjust the size so that it fills kind of this title area. And I also choose a color that goes well with this section's, you know, tones. So it can be a green or it can be a color that stands out, something like that. I think I'm gonna do a dark green. I think that looks fine. And then I start labeling my subsections. So again, I use a text box. And this time I've been doing yoga, okay? So I make the box, I make it a little bit bigger. 
I'm gonna make it black and I'm gonna copy it using my lasso tool, paste it below and then write the following workout which I do not know if I'm gonna carry through with this but I'm supposed to start CrossFit soon so I'll let you know if I did um, and it's too big right so it doesn't fit so with my lasso tool I'm gonna select both titles because I like them both to be the same size I will resize them until CrossFit fits here okay and then I just center each title okay yoga CrossFit and then you would continue copying and pasting Now, as I mentioned, as you saw in my other sections, I don't have all of the labels for all of my subsections. So what I do when that happens is I do add the label for easy access and then I just write down a little like star here just so that I know that the text box is there and it's ready to be used when I'm ready. So I will just center this. And I'm actually going to delete these ones and just copy this one that is centered already. And so, for example, next time I have a workout ready to be registered, I'm just going to write it down here. Okay, and it's going to be uh, centered and ready to go. Now, the next thing I want to mention is that I like to copy all of these titles. Okay, and then when I go to my section, so let's say I'm going to yoga. Sorry, so open the yoga section. I'm gonna paste those titles and then my yoga section will have a title right here. Let me move this down for a little bit now. You can even do a little line like that and then you have a title for yoga. Then I'm gonna take these two, cut them and you can either swipe because the sections go, you know, in order or you can just go back to your section and then click on the subsection that you want just to make sure that you are going to the right page and paste what you had, crossfit, and I can do another line like this, then I cut the last one and add my line. And that's basically it. Now when I go to my section and I go to my subsections, everything's going to be labeled, everything is going to be ready to use. So when I go swimming, I can just literally start writing down what I did. So I don't know, for example, today would be Thursday, November 14th. I can write down 1.5K, which was 40 minutes. And in this way, I will keep track of my workout. All right, guys, so that was it. This is how I've been using my digital notebook and I really like it. It's so easy to be organized and keep my notes tidy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much and see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.